Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel and today we are here for kind of an unboxing but it won't be just an unboxing. I'll do the unboxing first part and then I will record some other day the review of the item that is inside. So this is an item that I received from a company called Great Fountain. And I brought a knife but I don't think I need it. I can open this. So this Great Fountain is a company from Italy and it is um, made, it, is, it was created by Gabriel Falcinelli and he is well known for some other items, I would say. So, I have here a personal note, let's just let me see. Okay. Okay. I, I will... I will just show it to you. So, this is the... the there was a note where he says, uh, this is notebook I told you about, and then he, he explained some stuff. So, this is the card of the company, so the great, uh, it's called Great Fountain, and these are the contacts. And they, they release this little pocket, this pocket notebook, which is kind of nice. I like uh, these small notebooks. But before, I was telling you this is Great Fountain, and you may remember this name. I talked about this company several times because I made a review of an ink and I also make some, made some videos about this little stuff. And this little stuff are uh, cartridge stoppers made of brass. So these will fit Parker and Lamy uh, cartridges. And this one is for the international cartridges. So imagine that you have two main options to use this. Is Imagine that you have uh, a cartridge that you didn't use completely, you prefer to, uh, and you want to change the ink, you just put the stopper on the cartridge, you put it aside, it will not evaporate, and you can reuse it later instead of uh, just wasting the, the ink. Or, it is useful, imagine that you go on a trip, you'll take then these ones got a little stuck there. You can get a few of them, like this, and maybe you'll fill your cartridges with your favorite ink, and then you can take your favorite ink with inside the cartridge and you can take it with you, because these inks are not always available as cartridge inks. So, this is just to let you know, I guess you can remember, and here is the pocket notebook. So, made in Italy, it is full of nice, smiley, not that smiley, but fun cats, the logo of the company. And then you have Great Fountain, made in Italy, 52 page, 100 grams per square meter paper, pure white, square cross, and you have the dimensions there, and then the Great Fountain. And let me just open this. I'm getting out of battery, so let me see if I can end this recording before that, or this first part. Let me just open this, and you have this, it's kind of a plastic laminated cover. You have this little thing to keep it closed, and there you have this squared uh, paper. So, there is the information about the paper again, there is a quote here, I will try this paper for a couple of days and I will be back with the full review of this item. So, I'll be right back. So, let's start. I showed you this notebook, I'm not sure if it was last week or the week before, and uh, this was sent to me by this brand, which is called Great Fountain. It is an Italian brand. 
and here is the information about the contact and the social uh, social media and this is kind of a one man's brand uh, the the owner of the brand is Gabriel Falcinelli and he sent me this notebook for review I showed you the notebook and the, in, the, in the first part of this video that I received some time ago and now I'm showing you the, the how it how it is and how it works so it comes with these uh, kind of a paper ring around it, a paper band. It has the logo, pocket notebook, made in Italy, and here you have more information. You know that this is made with 52 pages and it is quite a heavy uh, cardstock. It is 100 grams per square meter, so it is a thick paper. It is really white, it's pure white. It has square crosses as the pattern that is also available in plain and it is uh, 89 versus 140 uh, millimeters. This is the size and this is the website again. This size is actually the size of the uh, field notes notebook which is very popular, I don't have any so I cannot show you or compare, but it is also the same size as these Moleskine Volant notebooks. They have different uh, properties. This one is uh, kind of ivory color, this one is white. This paper is not uh, laminated so the cover will get eventually damp and a little bit destroyed. And the paper on the Moleskine is always very hard to predict. I have some Moleskine paper that works great, but most of them work really, really badly. They feather a lot, so it's not very good. I don't have any video really about Moleskine, but when I do ink reviews, I have the Moleskine as one paper that I use for those videos, and you can check it. And you'll see that's where the inks behave the worst. So, let's see this. We take this out. And you have here the pattern. You can see this is eliminated. So, this will be kind of a water-resistant cover, which is interesting because it will uh, resist some water splashes, but it will also... Um, will resist your sweat if you keep it close to your body. This is the cover, it is the same, the design is the same all through the notebook and it is nice with these little cats dressed in different ways, all black and white and it is uh, binded or bound with three staples. It is easier to see inside. When you open the notebook you will see in the next to the cover or in the inside part of the cover you have a, a quote by Benjamin Franklin either write something worth reading or do something worth writing so it's an interesting quote and on the inner side of the back cover you will see 52 pages so you'll see the same information that is here on this uh, band, but of course you pick this band and you throw it away because you don't really need it and you have this. Okay, now let's go for a few characteristics. One is that because this is laminated and it is well protected, when you put it here on the table it will happen like this. So it will tend to open and the covers warp out a little bit and this is because of the lamination process and the heating and all that. This is an issue that he is fixing currently. He is working on fixing this issue so they will be able to close easily. If you 
prefer to have it perfectly closed and you don't want that warping thing, you can always oops, sorry, let me you, you can always um, doing things through camera is not easy so you can keep this paper band and put it around and now I'm not being able to do it, okay so, and this will keep it closed however, there is also the, chan the, the option of leaving it like this because it really works because if you put it in the pocket it will not open and there is also a leather cover that he sells on his website I will leave you links below that will allow you to keep this closed so, this is it the price of this little notebook is 4 euros and I think 4 euros is quite good uh, because it has a laminated cover, the design is fun and the paper is really nice, which is the most important thing. So, let's see. First here I just wrote my email address, so if this gets lost or something, I can recover it. And I, what I made was um, a selection, use the selection of pens to see how they would behave. So first, let me show you, like this the middle how this paper is you can see they the kind of pattern is is, is like a cross like a, a plus sign that gives you the idea of or squares or lines as you prefer to think of it so it is we can say it is the same kind of thing as a do, uh, as a dot pattern but the dot pattern is very often more, very often harder to see than this one. So this one is really easy to follow if you really want to do that. So let's go for this writing sample. I tried several inks, so the several inks and pens. First it was Sailor King of Pen. Let me show you the pens because people like it. So these big pen with this medium nib which is quite wet and I like it let me just show it because it's a beauty uh, I like this pen I like the nib but it is a medium very wet it gets very thick there and let me just show you here there is no bleed through throughout the writing sample of course because of the strong lighting for this video if you do like this, you can see there is some see-through, but not bleed-through. So I used the Sailor King of Pen, I used the Kavec Collection Iridescent Pearl with an extra fine nib and Kavec ink, so also very well behaved. You will not see any feathering, any problem at all. The paper is really nice, very smooth, silky. Um, and there is no feathering issues. It may take a little time to dry because it's a very good paper, but also these recent Parker 45 with what I think is Parker Queen Black. The Centini Libra Olive, which is a very interesting pen that I really, really enjoy, and it has the KWZ Oscar, and KWZ Oscar ink is an ink that sometimes feathers, no feathering here, it's absolutely perfect. We have the Platinum, focus please, the Platinum Glamour Black, which is a medium nib, it's a very fine medium, with a Sailor ink and no problem also. With a medium nib by Lamy on this Lamy logo and there is no problem. So all works well. Now, on the other page, I chose some other pens. I have the Aurora Duocart Yellow, which, which has a medium nib and it is very wet pen. I use the Caveco Collection Lilliput Green for this part with Caveco Palm Green. Medium nib, no problems. I use the Gravitas Pocket, the Copper and Skull Edition, and also no problem with the fine nib and diamine ink. The Pilot Costume 743 with a fine nib 
with Parker Queen Black, but Parker Queen Black is an ink that I know that behaves well, and Caveco Caramel Brown inside the amazing Caveco Sterling Sport. And there you have, with a fine nib. And finally, I use this nice pen that I really enjoy, this pocket pen, very thick, the William Shakur Titan Pocket, with Waterman Black, which is usually a very well-behaved ink, but I decided to do this. And again, there is no feathering. And I made kind of a swatch with... And now, can I remember what I used? This one was with the Aurora. This one was with the Santini, which I don't know where it is, here. And this one was with the Gravitas. So, this is Parker Quink Black. This is... Um, this is what? I don't remember anymore. Uh, this is the KWZ Oscar and this is Diamine Oxblood. And now let's see the other side. So we have lots of ink here on the line variation with the titan, titanium nib on the William Shakur Titan pocket. And we have here these swatches of ink with much more ink on the paper. And when you look at it, there is no bleed through. There is some see-through, yes, when you, especially because there is a light source. You can see the shadow of my finger. There is a light source there. So you will see that it has that, but there is really no bleed through. You can just see through a little bit. And there is no bleed through also on those little squares. So these notebook behaved really, really well with every pen and ink that I tested. I will use it for sure and maybe I, I, I may be able to do some video later when I have more stuff written, but this was just to test the ink because I didn't want to make just a kind of unboxing. Um, so here you have everything. The, I received it some time ago, then I've been using it slowly, seeing how it performs on this part, I'm really happy with the performance. So, this is the pocket notebook by Great Fountain, Great Fountain made in Italy, 52, I think, 52 pages, 100 grams per square meter paper, so very thick paper, laminated cap with a very nice design. I'm really happy with this. He's working on having this laying down completely flat, but when you are using it, you can also put it completely flat and use it very, very well. I think this is a very comfortable option, a very good alternative for the very uh, unreliable moleskin volant paper or also a good option if you prefer a laminated cover over the paper cover of the uh, note field note field uh, sorry field notes notebook so this was my review i will leave you links below if you want to check these the website and of course the pens if you are interested in seeing the my reviews and this is it i hope you enjoyed thank you gabriel for sending me these for trying it and i will be sure as I, we talked before that i will be i will buy more of your notebooks but that's something for another video this is all for today hope you enjoyed and i hope to meet you here again soon bye